If you're watching this, there's a good chance you're using the same password over and over again. And I'm here to tell you that is not a good idea. Let me tell you what happened to me. A few years ago, Zappos emailed me out of nowhere and said that my password had shown up on a long list of hacked accounts. It wasn't that Zappos had been hacked. I didn't even know what had been hacked. But because I used the same password again and again, my Zappos account was vulnerable. So it was my Instagram account and my Facebook account. And uh, so hopefully you end up with your password exposed to the world thanks to yet another security breach. I'm gonna show you how to start securing your accounts. The most important thing you can do is use different passwords for different services. That sounds really complicated and hard to remember, but it's not. What you need is an app called a password manager, something that can remember all of your usernames and passwords and automatically plug them straight into websites. They're really, really handy and pretty easy to use once they get set up. There are a bunch of options out there, like 1Password and Dashlane, but for this video, we're gonna talk about LastPass because it's completely free and it works on basically every platform, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, even Chrome OS. So you'll be able to use it no matter where you are. When you sign up, the first thing you'll be asked to do is create a master password. This is what you'll type to log in to LastPass. And basically, it's the only password you'll ever have to remember. So you better make it a good one. Now, I know what you're thinking, probably a special character, a capital letter, a number, maybe make that O into a zero. No, forget all of that. Well, you want something that's long, but easy to remember. So instead of password, think passphrase, something like excitable lizard tomato paste machine. You're not gonna forget that, but it's gonna be really hard for a hacker who's guessing password after password after password to figure out. Okay, so what are the hackers actually doing here? We asked Russell Brandom, the Verge's cybersecurity reporter, to find out. So imagine a big breach like the one that hit Yahoo in 2013. Hackers got logins and hashed passwords for a billion accounts. Now that's a lot of people and it's a huge problem for everyone, even outside of Yahoo. Suppose you've got a scam going and you need to hack a bunch of Facebook accounts. If you can buy unhashed Yahoo passwords on a criminal marketplace, you can use a tool like Sentry MBA to run all 1 billion of those passwords against Facebook and see which of them work. If you're lucky, you get one in a thousand. But for a breach as big as Yahoo, that's a million passwords. Of course, Facebook will get suspicious if one computer is putting in millions of passwords a second. So the programs get clever, using botnets to spread the logins out over millions of IP addresses, using different profiles and different browser fingerprints, so each one looks like a different user. It's an arms race between hackers trying to use the passwords and services trying to stop them. But at the end of the day, the ones that work are legitimate passwords. Services can only do so much to keep hackers out. And that's why you want to use different passwords with each account, because even if you end up in a big breach like Yahoo, your other accounts will still be safe. All right, so now you need to go about changing all of your passwords. LastPass can actually help you out a bit by automatically importing any passwords you already have saved to your browser. And it even has a button to automatically change some of those passwords. But it doesn't always work, and you're probably gonna have to enter some of these manually, which can take a little bit of time. Say you're ready to secure your Facebook account. You'll find the change password screen, and then LastPass will have this little button appear in the corner of the box. You just click on that, and LastPass will be able to generate and fill in a big, long, complicated password for you. But that's okay, because you're never gonna have to remember it. Once it's saved in LastPass, it'll be there forever. And that's it. Fortunately, you don't have to do this all at once. And honestly, I'd recommend waiting a few days before you add you know, your bank account or your email address, just to make sure you have the hang of it. Just so you know, it's gonna be a little bit more work on mobile because you're gonna have to copy your password out of the LastPass app and into whatever you're signing into, but it's worth the effort. Okay, so that'll actually make you more secure than most, but there's one more step you can do to make your accounts even safer. It's called two-step authorization, and you should set that up too. Usually what this means is that when you go to log into a website, the website will text a short code to your phone, and you'll have to enter that code as well as your password to get logged in. The idea is that even if a hacker has your password, they'll also need to steal your phone in order to break into your account, which is gonna be a lot more work. Yes, this will make logging in take a few seconds longer, but it's much more secure, and you'll feel a little bit like a secret agent every time you get a special code sent to you. At least that's how I feel. Some quick words of warning about all of this. First of all, never forget your master password. Seriously, if you do, you're gonna be locked out of everything. Some accounts will give you a backup code, make sure you hang on to it. And even if you do take both of these steps, you're never gonna be 100% impossible to hack. That's just not gonna happen. Even two-factor systems can and are being breached. But if you take these steps, you're still gonna make it much harder for somebody to get into your account when they're not supposed to. And with more and more of our lives moving online, that's increasingly important, and it's definitely worth the effort. I didn't even know it had been hacked. Because my account wasn't good, uh, just keep going, Smooth. Just keep going. Uh, uh, my Facebook account and my Instagram account and uh